Friday, people are injured here, 2v2, Argus Desert Gate, Blue Team. We've got Gooby plays a Commissar Lord, good offense and support fight in melee combat begins with a refractor field alongside. Rune Ekpa, where's he gone? There he is, an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a target heal and a passive health regeneration aura. This is Ultramarines DLC. Red Team, Unsullied, is a Warp Spider Exile teleporting commander that fights range combat. Great for capping and harassing early on with some awesome control abilities too. And rather than at the teams for Red is Brandon as a Ravenna Alpha, tunneling commander of great mobility. Can also put out some good damage fights in range combat by default. Has some support as well, as well as a support structure, which might do pretty damn good at top for him on the east side. Have a VP mid and a VP on the west as well. None of them natural. Natural powers on the east side, natural powers also towards the middle. Howling Banshees on the field for Unsullied. Double Termigants, usual opening for Tyranids on the east side for Brandon. Double Guardsmen into Sentinel and double Scouts up for Runekpa. Maybe double Shotguns would be pretty cool. I think he should get the Sanguine Chainsword for the Apothecary. Get in there, be aggressive, tie up those Termigants, otherwise they are going to hurt your Scouts. Especially when they're upgraded, he might go for... The customized storm bolt to this to disrupt that Revan Alpha though. Meanwhile, West Side, Howling Banshee's chasing down the Commissar Lord. His shield is gone. Sentinel just gets it stopped. Needs to use it though. Needs to stop those banshees doing their thing. Not sure why he's not using it. Does he not know that he just purchased it? 484500. He's gonna lose his sentinel. He's not careful here. That was a really poor play from Gooby. Is he gonna get away with it? Why is he not stomping? 478500. Did I miss something? Did he did he use it or something? That was very, very odd. He purchased the upgrade. And you'd think he'd got it to use the stomp immediately, but you know, I didn't see him use it. 47500. So an early loss from Gooby. Not the best play there. Lost a bunch of guardsmen as well. And Banshee's got almost half a level in XP, so really bad opening for him. And we're gonna see a triple cap perhaps for the red team. Dire Avengers. Backing up to Cap. Ravenous on the way for Brandon. Runek Park. With shotgun scouts. But nothing else. Interesting. Double gens up. And a tunnel is going up. I really think he should get that hive node over here. Banshee is continuing to harass. Alongside the Wopsar Exile. Look how quickly that shield goes down for the Commissar Lord. That's painful. Power melee damage really bad for commanders early on, especially if they are melee commanders and need to get close to do their thing. Warps Rex are taking a ton of damage there though, but does get away. So they did stop the decap of this and they stopped any power harassment. So that was a reasonable recovery there from Gooby. Did get his Commissar Lord forced off very quickly. He needs to think about maybe getting stubbornness up on that guy. There's another Ravenna Tunnel. You can put four units at a time in this thing. Your allies can use them also. Shotgun blast on the Hormagons. Maybe we'll see the. Oh, he's gone for the customized storm, but we might see the purification rites. Because we have melee Ravenous and melee Hormagons now. There's the heal on the. Was it on the scouts or the tactical marines? Tactical marines now in combat with Ravenous. Ravenous who have power melee and scouts going down in retreat. Nope, they did get away. Only lost the model there. But these guys do have power melee if they're not upgraded with their ranged weapon. Tactical Marines forced off. Hormagons brazenly decapping right in their face. And are they able to finish the decap? Massive risk. He's not able to finish it and lost a bunch of models. Not sure why he would choose the decap at that point. Keep the pressure on those Tactical Marines. Keep the pressure on the Apothecary. Why would you try and decap? But he can do so now and maybe even bash power. We're Buege up on the west side. Here come those very, very dangerous Howling Banshees. Gooby getting his catagens are pretty late here. You need something to specifically deal with these ladies. No Sentinel because they went down. Needed to get those catagens up a bit earlier, I think. But here they are. Coming out of base now. Very versatile squad. Can counter melee squads with their shotgun blast. Do some good damage also. And can disrupt from range. You can also, of course, use that disruption on melee squads. They're... Is there a minimum range for the all reliable? I think there is. Are we going to see it here? There's a shotgun's going off. 
and now they're in melee combat with the Banshees. A dangerous fight for those Howling Banshees, especially at low health. They need to get those special attacks off to have a, a chance there. Captain Trainers do not have special attacks. Also don't have a melee charge, which is what lets them down as a melee squad. They are a ranged squad, just happen to have some pretty nice power melee. They saw that grenade launcher on that shuriken. Wow, Brandon in behind with his army. Keeping his Raveners as melee so far, which is a good choice, I think, putting some real pressure on those tactical marines. Here comes Runekpa though, with double scouts who both have their grenades and both have shotguns. But he's he's just poorly positioned here. And he should really get that purification rights. Which is getting a cost decrease, I believe, in the next update. 247. 500. Dire Event is just about getting away. Spotters may be required over here because it's a pretty good map to control the west side with setup teams. Howling Banshee's on the Commissar again. He gets a special attack there. Should have used it to try to escape. Is he going to get away? Wow, he does get away. Banshee's taking focused fire from these guardsmen. And we see the Power Sword up for the Commissar Lord. 231. 500. Shuriken. Suppressing these guys and here comes that whoops the Rex up and he's getting his improved targets Increases his range by I think it's seven and damage by 50% which is not bad at all 223 500 quite an expensive upgrade though as you can see 30 power for this thing Did he lose his ravenous? He did lose his ravenous. Wow, maybe a grenade spike up here completely missed that Assault Marines on the field for Runek but he's up against a tier 2 Turinid army where they start to get really dangerous. Gene still is tyrant guards, zone throats. All very, very painful if you're not prepared. 209, 500. Gene Steers are on the way. So I assume he's going to try and get melee synapse here, and he would have had melee synapse raveners if he didn't lose them. This is a decap wreck point. Scouts taking back the natural power. Only one generator on it, and it's badly damaged. 198, 500, 2 to 1 cap for the red team. A dominant tier 1 in terms of map. But Runekpa did. I don't think he lost a single tactical marine that I saw. Lost a couple of scouts, but that's no big deal. And lost his power, which is probably the biggest blow he suffered up there. But he did wipe those revenants, which is pretty nice. Grenade on the Dire Avengers. They dodge it. Here come Howling Banshees. Assault is jumping, the shuriken genes is lurking on his west side alongside Endless Swarm, Adrenal Glad, Hormogaunts. Howling Banshee's in amongst the, tats, the Assault Marines, I should say, and there's the heal, and that switches that engagement on its head as the Apothecary heal often does. Wow, they're running into the shuriken, who almost lost his Assault Marines. In fact, I think he is going through massive, massive misplay from Runek, but did so well against the Banshees and then just tried to run in his Assault Marines or just completely forgot about them, which may have been the case. Gene still is using that Adrenal Rush, giving him improved speed, improved damage and a self-heal on hit. It is a superb ability for these guys and a wipe, or at least help wipe, that Commerce Lord. Massive push from the red team, keeping the pressure up here. Unsullied, going tier 2 quite late, as does Runek, but... 150, 500, that 2 to 1 cap continue to tick down the blue VP counter here. Oh, he's gone for the purification vials, which could also be incredibly good for this apothecary's level 3. So it does have that upgraded heal, which gets stronger every two levels. Raven Alpha has gone for the corrosive devourer. Gives him a plasma weapon, which is pretty nice. Also gives him corrosive shots, as you see there. Which allows them to damage vehicles. A really good and versatile ranged weapon. And targeting those tactical marines with it is going to be a bit painful for Runek Putt. Wants to force him to use his heal quickly so that he can't use it in a advantageous way, kind of to switch an engagement on its head. Just focus down one squad, make him use his heal, and then he can try and focus down the apothecary, maybe. Doesn't have his. Assault Marines anymore, he might replace them. Banshee's going in amongst Catechins. Commissar is there to support. Aspect of Strength is up, but that's a bad engagement for the Banshee. Should not have stayed in that long. He's going to lose them, I think. These guys have to force melee. No, they're backing away. What are they doing? Might have survived anyway. Might have survived, but they got their X up. There's Purification Vials. Whoa, that is a lot of damage to your turn because he lost all of them. 
Wraith is going to lose all of his former gods as well. Wow, talk about a bad engagement for Brandy. Lost his entire army, 134.75. Purification Vials wiping the Tyrannies. He did not move. WTF indeed, you got to move. Two gens up. He has so much red now, almost 600 dreadnought on the way for Runekpa. And that might be the end of it for Red Team. Level 5 apothecary from that, says Runekpa. And indeed, he's right. 130. 460. Chimera doing a good job here for Blue Team. They have double Wraith Guard here from Unsullied using the Webway Gates to traverse quickly to this west side, I assume. Is there another one up? There's one at this other base. Here come those double Wraith Guard. Artillery unit, kind of a short range artillery. Boom. Really dangerous ranged attack. Good damage to all targets. And it also suppress infantry out, shooting a grenade there. Quite tough, as you can see. Heavy infantry armor, and they are going to town on this Chimera. He needs to move that thing. Goes down in three volleys. These guys kick some serious awesome range. They do have a wind-up time in their shot, though, as you can see. So if you're fighting against moving targets, it can be difficult to hit them. 130, 427, but you can't just stand and try and outshoot the Wraith Guard. That's going to be very tough. Dreadnought going ballistic on Gene Stealers. With those two close combat claws and that wrist mounted flame up has some good repair support from Double Scouts as well. Raven Alpha fully get out, reinforced Chitin, or Kitin, I should say, say that right. And Synapse Aura for damage. Why did he kick his Raven Alpha out? when he lost his army should be using without number to get some more units on the field you get some zone troops or something because there's no jump troops now Gooby does have a manticore lost his chimera he's lost a couple of units really badly lost his sentinel really badly didn't use a storm pro at least I didn't see him use it and just sat that chimera in front of two wraith guard and got pummeled Brandon goes tier 3. You can use a Toronto formation as soon as he gets there. And has some good resource income, so you might see a con effects reasonably soon. 130385. Red team now need to keep blue team on their toes. Keep capping, keep pushing this power if you can. Single cap now for blue. Decapping this wreck point. It's fully matured to plus 20 which is the maximum for 2v2s ouch what is he doing again Gooby very very late to move his stuff and loses a guardsman squad this double wraith guard are going ballistic Thomas Alon comes in to tie up one of them here comes the dreadnought they don't want to fight this guy wraith guard's biggest weakness is being tied up in melee there's the purification vials Catachun is coming to stand right in it and those guys are actually inside that webway gate. It's just a visual bug with replays or observing in general. Here comes another webway Our gate. 130. 365. Red team doing well. Pushing power on the east side. It's a good play. Level 2 Hounding Banshees. Gene Steelers getting their rending claws. What is this? That's a Manticore Strike. That is a drop pod dropped on your face. Manticore Strike doesn't hit a whole lot. Almost whacked that node, in fact. Banshees get away, though. Gene Steelers easily able to get away. And here comes another Webway Gate. Stone Guard veterans on the field for Runek, but first company tactical marines that can damage all targets effectively with their different ammo types. They start off with crack on bolts, which are good versus heavy and super heavy infantry. Understood. Can get Hellfire versus light infantry and commanders, which gives damage over time versus those targets. Can also get vengeance rounds versus super heavy and vehicles. And they can also get dragon fire rounds. Good versus units in cover and garrisons. Wraith God still destroying the crap out of stuff up here. What is he trying to achieve pushing against the Wraith God with his composition? He needs some spotters or, or something. Some Ogrins maybe to run in there. Dodge the grenade and it'll do quite well. 133-2-1. Have not spotted this webway gate even though he does have... Upgraded scouts here. 
Magical strike on the VP. Did that wipe out something? No, they got away. Purification vials on the Wraith God. We we're back in the hell out of there, but it's not nearly as dangerous if it's not a blob. Oh, good grief. Put his shield up, but it wasn't enough. Gooby really needs to judge his engagements a lot better. 13301. What was this vehicle then? So he lost his Chimera over here. Did he have another Manticore? Generator coming up. Well, I'm not sure. I don't think that's a Manticore chassis, is it? it might be. Tech is at maximum capability. Banshee's taking the east side. Red team doing well to recover here. I mean, Brandon lost his entire army literally, apart from his commander. But they've held in, and Goopy's just kind of struggling to make any headway bleeding Unsullied's army or dealing with his Wraith God at all. Catachan's wiped out. Grief. He needs to move quickly, Unsullied. Move over to the west side. Start capping. Bash power. Do something. Don't sit mid. Now, I think Banshee's fighting a Dreadnought. Not a good matchup for them, especially with Dark Age of Technology on the way. And that matchup's going to get even more difficult in a future update with Melee Resistance Aura coming for Walkers. 13267. Where did Unsullied go? He's in a Webway, Webway Gate size so inside the Falcon. What is he doing? Push the power, look. You'd wipe it in six seconds with your Wraith Guard, probably. Fine effects with Thorn back. Turns it into an even more scary melee monstrous creature with 1875 hit points, which very quickly goes over 2000 when this guy starts leveling. He's spawned his Rippers, which you can get for free. You just have to pay population five pop. And what is he going to do against this? Not a lot. He's got Vengeance Rounds and his Melee Dreadnought, which doesn't really want to fight a Carnifex. He's going for the Multimelter. Gene Steel is moving in. And they do have those Rending Claws, which will rip apart anything. What is Gooby up to? There's a Rocket Run. That's what he's up to. A really nicely placed one. Does it wipe the Wraith Guard? Not quite. That was so close, though. Did take out the Warlock Leaders, so they have been stunned there. You need to have their Wraith Sight, or they're very slow, and the Warp Director himself cannot give them Wraith Sight. This guy's down. Falcon, doing a decent job. Probably got that in response to that Manticore threat. Neiman Russ is up. Everyone's tier 3. Brandon, with tons of red, tons of wreck, and some good power income. We might see a Doom of Manatai or another Carnifex or a Swarm Lord. Oh! No, G says, do get away. 19 hit points. Here comes that Carnifex going straight after the Apothecary. Rippers should be tying up the Stone Guard veterans, Brandon. Apothecary revives. The Commissar Lord heals himself and runs away. Commissar Lord now trying to fight this Carnifex. What is this guy doing? Or is he fight? He's going after the Rippers, but he goes down. 13256. Slim and Russ. Getting shots in, gets the elite tank crew and the vanquisher cannon. Is that? I'm not sure, nor is he seems to me to tell. 129256. Brandon, is he going to use this Toronto formation? Kind effects is a 150 power now, aren't they? That multi melter is so dangerous. He needs to move this thing away. Falcon back in away. No sign of the energy field shield that this guy can get. Oh, the Lehman Rust did not chase. Would have finished off the Falcon with a rear armor hit there. This multi -melter. can't get close enough, or can it? He stopped his Falcon. Massive mistake, but does move in time. Down goes that webway. 115254. Meanwhile, east side, we have got Gene Steelers fighting Stone Guard veterans. Stone Guard veterans do not want this fight at all. Gene Steelers are just demons in melee combat these guys are crazy 80 melee skill insane dps and a very very good ability as well but no melee synapse for those guys getting more gene stealers brandon really he's got a tier 3 lictor as well 115224 triple cap for blue team despite gooby's misplays they are continuing to push here land raid redeemer on the way now for runek but unsullied i don't think he's been quick enough to capitalize on his gains 
he, he's killing Goopy's stuff, forcing him off and then not doing anything else, not pushing against that power. And now he's just getting doubled. 115187. Brandon capping up the east side. Might go destroy some gens with his tier 3 Lictor. This thing has melee heavy damage, can jump, and has free infiltration. That is right, does not need to spend energy to remain infiltrated. Flesh hooks as well. Can that guy get more crazy? For the crazy levels to 9 with combat stims. Kasukin on the way for Gooby. Double Lehman Russes as well. All of a sudden he's got a very nice army. Manticore backing it up. All of a sudden everyone's got a pretty nice army. Brandon with a very strange composition. Double Genie Sealers without melee synapse. And as you can see they get torn apart late game. If they don't have that melee synapse. Especially level 1 Genie Sealers. Just 10, 50 hit points. 115, 159. They're going after that. Apothecary though is in trouble up there. Here come the other Gene Stillers. Apothecary drops his perfect engine. Viles goes down. Brandon retreats his Gene Stillers. They survive. Conifix goes after the vent. The Dreadnought, I should say. Those Gene Stillers get absolutely rocked by something. Eldritch Storm stuns the Lehman Russ. Might have helped take down the Dreadnought as well. And an orbital over here, 115142. Nukes going off left and right in the game. Those, no, both the Gene Sealers did not get away. I thought both of them did. Very odd choice to get another Gene Sealer squad. Toronto Formation. Not achieving a whole lot. But it's making a Lima Russ back away at the very least. The Falcon now does have its shield. Makes it very, very difficult to de deal with. Here comes that Land Red Redeemer. Basically a mobile base for the Space Marines. Flamestorm cannons on the side sponsors. Twin Link Assault Cannon and a Multimelter on top. Not to mention the devastating Frag Assault that it can use if stuff gets close like this. You need to face your Land Red in the correct way though since it comes out the front. There is the Frag Assault killing a Wraith God. A grenade, Wraith God retreating out. 104, 134. Commander Lord now with the Xenos Power Claw and War of Discipline. 104, 134 still with the 1 to 1 cap. East side though turns blue thanks to Scouts. Gene still is decapping Wreck Point. Lick to Alpha doing nothing much. He let them cap there. Flesh Hook kills the model, does it? No, he lives. Level 3 scouts. Oh, he died anyway. Manticore Strike takes out the Falcon. Wow, and killed a bunch of Dire Avengers as well. What's this? Predator Tank with Laz Cannon. Fun effects is all of a sudden in a lot of trouble. Kasrakin, what do they have? Melter Guns, which will snare targets with the weapon expertise, which they are losing in an upcoming update. Kazakun are pretty crazy right now. Usually you only see them if a player is replacing his lost guardsman or something or his lost stormtroopers. Because usually they want Lehman Russes up. 104, 114, but they are getting tweaked. Oh, Predator does not want to sit there. These Wraith Guard have done an amazing job. They're both level 4. How much damage are they doing? Look at this. That's a level 9 apothecary throwing his purification vials. Trying to formation doesn't do a whole lot to a land raider. He's getting a swarm lord now. He, I don't know why he got that second squad of genes. It would have been better getting off, better off getting a warrior brood with adrenal glands with that investment instead. I mean, he hasn't given himself any synapse for the entire game. No synapse at all. Not even basic synapse. Apart from his capillary towers, has he even used any? No, oh, there's one. Oh, that's from Toronto Formation. I don't think he has. Swarmlord's going to hit the field though. 104, 74, double so cap for the blue team. Gooby can drop another rocket run. Did very well with his first. Victor decapping West. Got a bunch of XP as well. And he might finish this cap. Here comes another Webway Gate. Webway Gates could be vital late game. They still have not dealt with this one. Our have has he finally seen it? He has. Gene Steelers come out of it. Shotgun blast to the face. This thing should turn around and shoot them. There we go. 
And there we see the Hellfire rounds doing their work on these light infantry gene stealers. Frag assault, maybe? Yes. No, didn't even need to use it. Not going to take on a land, a supported land radar with gene stealers on their own. 104-33. 2 to 1 for blue. I think they are going to hold on here. Brandon making some very strange composition choices later game when he lost all of his stuff. Should have used without number immediately to replenish his forces. Then gone tier 3. Started to build up his monstrous creatures. But he just got... He's got... He had... He's purchased three genes to the broods in this game. He lost two of them. And didn't get melee synapse a single time. Here is the Swarm Lord. Super unit for Tyranids, monstrous creature with vehicle armor, very good in melee combat though it doesn't have splash damage. The biggest thing with this guy though is it gives you a speed buff synapse and a reinforcing synapse for all of your stuff and that speed buff will affect other monstrous creatures so you can have, wow, Thornback Khan effects is zipping around and Wraith God just disintegrated those Stone God veterans, 104-22. Something's capping east side. It's the Raven Alpha. The Wops Redcock is still down. He needs to repurchase. Really will help his team cap if he can get that guy back on the field. Land Raider Dima might be done for because that's a Carnifex and a Swarm Lord smacking on it. Down it goes. Raven Alpha levels to 9. Good grief. How much stuff has died in this match. Or talk dropped by Unsullied. Arling Banshee's moving in and taking on those Kasrakins. These guys do have fragmentation grenades which they could have thrown there to stop them advancing. But they did not. Jesus is coming in for the flank as well. That was painful. And again, Gooby quite late to react and did not react with his grenades when he might have could have. 94-10. Thomas the Lord being chased by Banshees and they take him down level 4. No, they're not level 4. Even Russ again from Gooby. And some more cash can so many losses in this game. Here are the remains of one of the Russes. He's had at least two others. And he's gone for the execution of hit. Swarm Lord getting too close to base and tanks and stuff. He's the back away. Lehman Russ in retreat path. Can he do anything with this guy? There's that front mounted Laz Cannon taking a shot. 56 10 triple cap for red team. Are they going to hold on here? I thought Blue Team had it, but they've just lost unit after unit, especially the man Gooby. Or Tuck getting her tier 3 fusion gun. Awesome. I love this thing. You rare, very rarely see it because she comes out in tier 2 and gets her spear usually. And this is a tier 3 weapon. Look at this thing. Rapid firing melter weapon. Good damage to all targets. Combine that with her ungodly mobility and it's very very dangerous can she finish off this Lehman Russ well there's the triple cap anyway GG from all players crazy stuff not the highest level game we've ever seen let's be honest Gooby with a fair amount of misplays Brandon with some very strange composition choices but hey not everyone is a top level player lots of players still learning 10 VPs on the counter was very close and I'm sure these guys had a lot of fun Kashikin Came out at the end as well with Melter Guns again. Still got a Commander's Goopies, Commissar Lord with Xenos Power Claw and Aura of Discipline. Actually had the Power Sword as well. Runekpa did well. Level 10. Customized Storm Bolt Up, Combat Stims and Purification Vials which wiped Brandon's entire army in Tier 1. Warps Rex Up was down for ages. I'm not sure why Brandon did not revive this guy. Was only level 3. Had improved targets. Not sure if he had anything else. And a level 9 Raven Alpha with Crosive Tavara. Not Didn't notice if he used his Crosive Shots. I'm sure he did. Reinforce Chitin and Synapse Aura. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.